Hi everyone, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and welcome to the OpenTunes 2019 tutorial, beginner tutorial. Um, before we get started though, I have to have make a huge shout out to Mr. Brandon Swain on Patreon. He is our very first Patreon. Everyone give Brandon a huge round of applause. Maybe we can drop some confetti in there too. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon, we are only $4 away from our first goal, which is keeping this channel completely ad-free, so I don't have to actually monetize my videos. So, big thank you to Brandon Swain. Um, that's a shout-out, Brandon. This is your time. You can celebrate if you're watching this. And let's move on. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create layers in columns, animate with the brush tool, and how to play and export your animation. I also go over the, all these topics in the tutorial at YouTube in an OpenTunes beginner tutorial series that I have here on YouTube. So if you want more in-depth explanation on those, then be sure to check that out. So one thing I have to explain to you guys in OpenTunes is that what you see here is called a column. And a column is basically like a layer. I'm actually going to use the vertical thing to explain it because this is how it opened it usually was. So as you can see, we have all these columns and think of these just like a timeline, but going down instead of um, to the right. And these columns are your layers. So basically, column one, column two, column three, layer one, the ones that column two is obviously above column one, all that basic stuff. So we're going to go back to here and we only have one. I'm going to try to see if we can create another one. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have these buttons right here where this says new raster and new vector level. So I'm actually going to go back to basics, which is a room that you guys should have. And you're going to scroll on the thing called the X sheet. You can extend it. It's called the X sheet. Get, um, get used to it. So we can hit new level. And we're going to use a, just for starters, we're going to use a tuned raster level. And we'll talk about rasters and um, vectors in a second. So we're going to make that. There we go. Um, we're going to grab this little tab just to, just to extend the exposure. That just means that the frame that we're currently on is going to last longer. Uh, it's going to last about 12 frames. And then we're going to go here, hit new level once more, and we're going to make it a vector level. Okay. Hit okay and grab this little tab and extend it down to 12. All right, now we're gonna move back to the room that we created. And as you can see, now we have two layers. So the vector, the yellower one is on top of the raster one. And I'll tell you guys the difference. Um, I think right now, yes, it is time for learning about vectors and rasters. So let me get my drawing stuff in gear. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, a raster is, um, I can't, I don't know the exact definition for a raster, but basically it means that the lines you draw are formed by pixels. So when you zoom in, the, the resolution or the quality degrades, I should say. And the only di the difference between a raster and a vector is that a vector is formed, I think, with an equation. So let me make the raster so you can't see it right now. Right here. Meaning that when you zoom in, the quality never, ever, ever gets worse, which is really cool. And it can be used for like finishing art and all that stuff. All that goody goody. So we're, we're gonna start using vectors. I mean, raster. So there are different vector tools. I have a video on those. So if you wanna check those out, be sure to check out the link in the card. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here on this brush tool. And I already had it selected. I, you guys already saw some of my sweet drawing moves. And you can just play around with it. You, I do recommend having a pen or a display tablet um, when you're using any drawing program, especially open tune simply because it's going to help you a lot. If you're using a mouse, that's fine. You'll be able to use the shape tool and get the same results. But as for drawing, you're not going to get the same results unless you use a proper pen tablet. Okay. So you can just draw around. And then I, as you can see, I took the tab and I dragged it to one because this is going to be our first frame. And now I'm going to draw something. I'm going to actually change this color over here. You see this color one. I'm going to drag this color wheel up there to gray because I want it to be a sketch kind of looking thing. So I'm just going to draw a circle. Just draw whatever. You can draw whatever you want on the first one. I'm going to draw some sort of character, I guess. All right, so now we have our character on here. Um, he's not perfect, but he's perfect for the tutorial. So that's our first frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this blank space where you see the X. I'm going to draw again. Now, your software shouldn't do this. Your software should actually, I'm not sure what it's going to do, but it's not going to do that. <laughs> what you have to do to do what I did is that my software, 
um, is configured to automatically create a frame when I draw. So that's how I made the frames in the first part. Maybe um, let me go to. So you have to go to drawing, right? And you're gonna go to auto creation and hit use X sheet as animation sheet. And that's that will make it so when you draw in one of these blank spaces, it'll automatically create a new frame for you. And it's gonna save a lot of time, especially when animating. Now we have our second frame, so I'm gonna draw something in it. Let's. Um, this is actually a good time to mention what onion skin is. Onion skin is when you can see the previous frame while you're drawing on the second one. So we're gonna right click on the screen and activate onion skin. And as you can see, it has these three dots. I'm gonna click away on the last two because I only wanna see the frame behind me. And we can make our character, uh, maybe he's shocked or something, I don't know. All right, so we have our second frame. So now we can flip back between one by using the hour keys, left and right to flip back between two frames. And that's basically how you draw and use frames. As you guys can see, you can already see that the flipbook stuff, all your little animation teachings are now possible because you know how to make frames, all that stuff. So now we can, now we got the, the basic stuff that you can apply all the other animation knowledge you know too. Now we're gonna go on to vector layers and vector layers are really special because OpenNews has a really nice um, vector setup here. So as you can see, we're gonna draw this vector circle. And as I said, it doesn't lose quality um, as you zoom in. So I'm gonna draw like this. And the cool thing about vectors is that you actually have various vector tools in OpenTunes, which would give you a decision whether to use raster or vector when you're, when you're drawing. So we drew the circle. We're gonna draw the same kind of guy. Maybe just, maybe just looks a little bit better. He's drawn in vector. This is the render tool. You can right here with the eye where my mouse is hovered over. You can click that and see what your lines look like when they're rendered. Just a just a little tip there. I just wanted to see what he looked like. Um, draw a big smile. All right. So now that we have drawn these lines, as you can see, as you can really see, it's not really perfect. The drawing kind of needs some work. But what we can do is go over down here to this mouse mouse clicker thing, um, and you can click the point. You can click on the line and you'll be able to edit these vector drawings, which is really, really cool. I would probably use this to finish art because it's really, it really doesn't matter what you make the lines look like because you can always finish them after, which is really, really awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix up some things here, make a smile look a little more chipper. Awesome. So we have our animation. Well, at least the, yeah, the vector one works the same way. You can just make more frames after. Just make, them, make a really quick surprise one. Doesn't have to be great. There you go, perfect. So now we have <laughs> our animation and our two layers. So when you extend the exposure, that it just means the frame lasts longer. So you can actually even go in these ones before and extend these. There you go. So then it lasts for four frames when you play it. So it's a little bit of a delay. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys about right now is the start and stop markers. You can right click on here and hit stop marker. And that just means that you can set when the animation actually stops. So I can set it so you never even see the second frame, or I can set it so you see it for a short time, or you can you can see it for the whole time, which is really, really good. Um, that's basically what you need to know for starting out in OpenTunes in 2019. And if you guys want more information on some of the things that I did in this video, maybe you wanna know how this what this camera thing means, head over to my OpenTunes beginner tutorial series because although it is made in 2018 and I will be making new versions of those videos, those videos still have fundamental aspects of OpenTunes in them that are still um, applicable today. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I know I haven't made a video in ages, but new things are coming. Uh, I don't wanna talk about it too much right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.